I'm a great believer in personal drive, uh, but of course so you need a conducive environment to be able to exercise, to have the space to indeed use your drive uh, to be a leader. Uh, but of course, uh, things also don't happen by themselves. Uh, good education, which I think is a responsibility of the state, and certainly uh, work towards building your skills and capacities. I also always say to young women, um, look around, find good role models, and don't hesitate to ask questions, and don't be afraid to start from the bottom, because you have to learn how to do the job to be a leader and to inspire others and uh, let them find their own way. I actually would like to start with the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, as you know, world leaders approved Agenda 2030 with 17 integrated goals to achieve uh, equality, to eradicate poverty, to create societies that are peaceful and uh, filled with accountable and transparent institutions, inclusive societies where uh, environment, um, social and economic development are all integrated. I think that is the starting point. There is a specific goal for women, but I do believe that none of the goals will be achieved unless we achieve full participation of women. If we are saying that no one should be left behind, certainly women are very much of that group. We have to make sure that um, women are empowered economically and politically, and certainly there is no room in that scenario for gender-based violence. We have to stop, eradicate gender-based violence once and for all. This is a global goal, uh, and I'm very happy to see that it is becoming a priority in the Western Balkans and Turkey. Gender equality is about human rights. Gender equality is about sustainable development, and it also makes common sense. Uh, if all members of the society are able to participate and contribute, certainly the transformative impact of that on the society will be much bigger and much more sustainable. The conference that is taking place in Budva today and tomorrow, um, I hope it will also succeed in creating a regional platform for gender empowerment, where indeed um, um, women and men of the region can work together uh, to achieve that result and can learn from each other, build capacities, and uh, indeed uh, work towards a much more progressive and uh, strong, strong uh, society. The well-being of everyone is indeed dependent on the integration and contribution of everyone. Montenegro is in a very, very good place. Um, it has uh, natural resources, very strong human capital, and um, has been now uh, uh, in the ranks of the very high human development uh, countries. And these are hugely strong foundations to build upon. And certainly the government also has a very uh, strong commitment to EU um, uh, integration, EU accession. And those are all uh, indeed anchors that will take uh, Montenegro forward. We are very happy to be partnering uh, with Montenegro uh, for many, many years when it comes to social reforms, when it comes to um, uh, social welfare, um, uh, public administration, judicial uh, reform. I hope that we will continue working on those. Uh, we are starting our new cooperation framework uh, from January next year. And the four areas of cooperation are um, good governance, democratic governance, social inclusion, environmental protection and management, and economic growth. Again, if we take these as a whole, um, there is progress on all uh, fronts. Uh, we are also supporting the Center for Sustainable Development, um, which is a great initiative at the regional level. And through that, I hope that uh, we'll be able to support uh, Montenegro in its um, efforts uh, to adapt and mitigate uh, climate change, uh, to achieve international uh, agreements along these lines, um, to uh, work on air pollution, environmental management, and certainly um, also uh, since Montenegro is a declared ecological state, uh, to see if we can help Montenegro to become 
as centers also for uh, carbon neutral uh, tourism.